Ooh, 20 to 50% off select dealers. I like the sound of that. I see some cool pieces up top there too. I would imagine both of those, probably the edges glow. Oh, is that a Hadley? You know, there was a day, there was a day I probably had this many precious moments or more. I didn't even realize behind these Annalise I was looking at, there's one of the Santas I've been on the hunt for. pleasant ring to it, doesn't it? Lemon grow. It's very citrusy. <laughs> so the reason we came here is there is a little antique store slash mall and a Goodwill like two doors down. So it's a twofer. Uh, so we're going to hit this little antique store first and see what goodies we can find. And then we're going to go over to the Goodwill. So uh, let's uh, get in there and uh, let's get shop done. Ooh, 20 to 50% off select dealers. I like the sound of that. Let's go in, see what we can find. Oh, I think we have been here before. I think we have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been a long time, though. Actually, I think now I remember when I was looking it up, uh, Google was saying it's been two years. Two years since I've been here. Look at the glass. Oh, boy. Oh, I do like that little Fenton basket right there. Oh, I really like that piece. Oh, a little Viking glass. We might see how much that is because I, do I still have the candle holders that go with that? I might. I never, I never can remember what I still have and what I don't have. Got some rose bill. Okay. I see some cool pieces up top there too. I would imagine both of those, probably the edges glow. So I might, I might look further into those. Pretty Jack in the Pulpit. Ooh, I like that one too. I don't have that one in my collection. You wanna see something? I think I'm gonna take a peek at those two red pieces up there. Right. Oh, that's a really pretty Amberina piece there. It's 40. That's a good price too. Look at them. So there it is. This would be $36. And... I do like that. Yeah. I like that this one has a design in it. Yeah. And this this one, one, I'm pretty sure this one's going to glow too. Yep. yep. Look at that. Uranium. Oh. <laughs> and how much is that one? It's 45. It'd be 45. 36, so, 36. so 36. Mm -hmm. this and is, what's this one? 35. So it would be 28. So 28. Mm -hmm. I think I will take those. Okay. All right, I am picking up both of those pieces. Oh, why am I like really, really drawn to the red today? I think it's because Christmas is coming. Red is the color. I'm gonna take a peek at those couple of pieces too. We'll see, I'll show you at the end what I end up with. Squirrel. Cute. That looks like the Campbell's Soup kid, but it's Goble. Oh, it's the Dolly Dingle Goble. This is a Jim Shore. Little kitty cat for 28 Let's see? It's always interesting how each dealer has their own kind of specialty. You can tell their niche by their booth. He's kind of cool. 
a lot of uh, pop pop art kind of characters and things here. Look at that beautiful chair. Oh wow, there's dogs on the arms. Now there's something you don't normally see. Really cute. And here we have a lot of Pyrex and Corning ware. <laughs> I don't know. I lost Jordan already. I, I think she's out of that phase. She was in that phase where she goes through phases. She goes through phases of the things that she uh, likes to decorate with. 34 on the Royal Wooster coddlers. I just got some at the swap meet um, for 20 I might see if they might do a little bit better on that price. They do sell well. The Royal Wooster egg coddler sets do quite well. Those are pretty. Oh, napkin rings. Got some milk glass. Oh, there's the ivy, see? She went through an ivy phase, too. She's got a bunch of boxes for me to take home that she's donating to the Good Stuff Thrift Store. So that's the cool thing, is uh, when her phases are done, she uh, passes it back on to Mom. <laughs> Look at the faces on these little dolls. They're just, they're just like a doll head. Such dainty little eyelashes. We've got lots of knickknacks on this shelf over here. Let's see if anything kind of calls to us. I love how quiet it is in here. It's very peaceful to shop. There's a little red riding hood teapot. These were heavily, heavily reproduced. Um, this is the Express 2000. So this isn't, um, I, I'm trying to think of the maker. Was it Hull that made one? And then a lot of different makers just started copying the design. And then this looks like it is all vintage clothes, which is not really my thing. Although I could use a nice warm sweater. Would you like to see uh, anything in those cases there? Would you like me to open it for you? No, it's okay. Oh, I look at these. Really little, little, little Almost like a, I guess it would help if I showed you, like a foil butterfly in there. Those are fun. There's, there's two of them. I really like those. I do really like those. Oh, rooster. He has a ceramic wall hanging trivet kind of guy. Hmm. I just don't know. I just don't know. I'm a little torn on him. He's only two dollars? Why is this donkey made in Italy only two dollars? I mean, he's got a little boo-boo right here, but you know what? We can find him a home. And right behind him is this little black cat for $3. Yeah. <laughs> he's a little black um, Mexican pottery cat for $3. We'll get him too. Oh, look at these little vintage packages of horses. How fun is that? I wonder if there's a year on them. They must be like 90s because they have the barcode. Huh. 
Oh, is that a Hadley? Okay, interesting thing about the Hadley company is uh, they went out of business-ish, uh, but they've been purchased and are going back into full production, so they're not really out of business anymore. So I don't know. I don't know what the Hadley pottery is going to do, but we will pick up the cute little Hadley pottery puppy plate for $8. It's kind of like the uh, Disney electrical parade, you know, when it was ending and then they were selling all the bulbs and, and, you know, and everybody went all nuts and got all that stuff. And then all of a sudden, oh, it's coming back. And then they ended it again. Oh, and then it's coming back. So, you know, it's kind of like loses its, loses its luster after a while. I think I'm kind of looking at this piece here for $12, this little votive holder. He is brass. On the bottom, he's so Hollywood Regency. Look at that. He's cool for $12, I think. We will grab him. Got some military items. Those are interesting. Sterling silver plate. Boy on horse. I'm trying to figure out kind of what they are. I'm not quite sure what they are. Interesting, interesting. Oh, that's a neat camel. I like him. Balik pigs. There's something you don't see every day. I love the old antique napkin rings. They're usually quad plate, which is a quadruple silver plate, basically. Um, those are those are really cool. Napkin ring. I'm trying to see the price. So the bird one in the back is 85. I can't see the price on the other ones. A little uh, knife rest. Oh, look at the little poodle knife rest. Oh, he's so cool. Oh my goodness. And a little silver plate. Figural ammo wine liquor bottle stoppers in a case. Oh, that is awesome. I love stuff like that. I just need to find it in the wild where nobody knows what it is and I can get a really good price. So the seven of these is $59. That doesn't seem like a bad price for seven of those stoppers. Seems like, it, you know, if you sold them for 10 bucks a piece, you've, uh, You've made some money. Very Southwest kind of feel in this showcase. Oh, look at that bear. Wow. Very cool. I do wish I could see the prices like on some of these planters. I may have her open the case and take a little peek at those. smelt and some bronze sculptures in there. Oh, and then we have the uh, little jars here. I know we're getting a little glare off of the fluorescent light. I love coming to an antique store where you can find some real true antiques that are identified as to what they are. Gives you a sense then when you're out in the thrift stores and out in some of the other places of the types of things to be on the look for. All right, I just decided to go into a far back room because there was some people shopping and talking and I just wanted to get where I could basically talk to myself unfettered, but there is some music playing in the background in here, so. Not sure how that will end up. Seeing another piece of the red glass. This is 15, made in England. Another very interesting piece. I'm going to get out my black light and see if that one glows. Oh, indeed it does. Indeed it does. I guess it's like a candle holder. I think we're going to put that one in the pile too.
calling it Fenton. Ah, I don't think this is Fenton. This, well, maybe. I could be wrong. Is that a glass? Ooh, it is glass. That's a pretty piece right there. I like that. Ooh, look at this piece of furniture. Oh my goodness. That's stunning. Love that. Look at these. The little glasses. Those are really, really pretty. I could see putting candles in those too, as opposed to just using them like glasses. I kind of want them. I kind of want them. What are they, $12 for the pair? I think I might end up with those. little apple dish honig of california it's ten dollars oh it's got a crack i was just about to pay the ten dollars but not with a crack because i think this piece is probably not worth too much more than ten dollars i just really liked it look at that table setting how pretty is that very nice they got lots of little antique chairs up here, down to the little kids' chairs. Oh, look at all of the moonstone pieces, including that epern. The epern is missing one of the horns. The pieces that come out of it are called horns. And sadly, there is one missing. That's such a shame. It's really pretty when you see like a whole bunch of it together like that. Oh, I see something calling me, but I really don't need it. I don't need to buy it for myself right now. He is only $12. Oh, goodness. He's got a little bit of damage, though, there. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to justify not buying him because of the damage. I know, it kind of goes kind of goes against my thing of rescuing things, but he's kind of safe being here in a, uh antique mall instead of you know, like a thrift store. At a thrift store, you, you have to rescue them because they're going to end up in the landfill. But here, he's pretty safe. He'll find somebody to love him. I know he will. Oh, and there's the, uh, the, uh, or the northern, the northern tissue babies. You know, there was a day, there was a day I probably had this many precious moments or more. I had quite the collection I honestly don't even know whatever happened to all those. Somewhere in one of the moves, they just never appeared, which is kind of sad. I had some really, really old pieces, some of the first pieces, which may still have some value. But for the most part, these were so mass marketed that they generally don't have a very high resale value, as cute as they are. I think I said in our recent video how the amber glass is making a big comeback. Um, is that Fenton? Yeah, it is marked Fenton. Little salt dish. They have lots of the amber here. Oh, there's another amberina piece. I'm a little enamored uh, with amberina and its glow factor. This one is 20. I might see if they could do a little bit better on this one because I do like this piece too and I'm pretty sure that one glows. And then this one, they've got it marked down, but I'm not, oh, to 25 and 45. Yeah, I'm not sure I can go on that piece. But this piece is intriguing, so I might see if they can do a little better on that one. And we got jewelry. I'm not a big jewelry buyer this way. I like to treasure hunt jewelry that hasn't been curated yet. 
cute Kokeshi dolls. But I get lots of requests to show the jewelry. They've gotten quite busy here all of a sudden. Quite busy. I didn't even realize behind these Annalise I was looking at, there's one of the Santas I've been on the hunt for. It says he's $34.99. I might just have to take a closer look at him. Oh, what do you think, Santa? Do you need to come with me? <laughs> I can't do a discount on her stuff, though. Sorry. That's okay. That's okay. I think 35 is fair. Yeah. I think 35 is fair for him. I'm thinking I am going to give that Santa away in my Christmas whatnot sale. I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to find Santa a new home with someone in my whatnot sale. Look at this guy. He's pretty fascinating. Wow. He's 20 bucks. I'm having trouble figuring out what he's actually made of. He's like a, he's almost like a paper mache, but he's heavy. He's heavy like pottery, but he's, he's like a paper mache. What? Oh, how did, miss how did I miss that? Goodness gracious. Wow. Well, that's a no brainer. Yeah. I was contemplating him at 20 uh, for five. I will definitely take him. That's, um, interesting. <laughs> I don't know who that nice couple is, but I don't know. It's just, I, yeah, we'll leave that right there. Let's see what else is 75% off. So, this is cast iron. Cast iron. Looks like it is missing, maybe, some antlers. Maybe that's why it hasn't been scooped up. But it's definitely got some age on it. Look at that. Oh, he's really heavy. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to think about him. I don't know if the cabinet is 75% off, but this glass vase. Wow. Wow. That's gorgeous. With the goat. What else is on here? And a swan or a... They're calling it a phoenix. I guess it could be a phoenix. All right. So that'd be 75% um, off 30, which would be... Oh, gosh, don't make me do that math in my head. Be like seven or eight bucks. We'll grab that too. Okay, so all of this is 75% off too. Look at that. Gosh, 75% off. That's like my language. That's like my love language. <laughs> so that would make that do the math for me. That would make it like. I have the same math brain like, that you have. Ah, uh, that's true. Less than $3. I know that. It'd be less than $3. Centennial currency. See, yeah, it just, I don't know. That doesn't excite me. It's its not kind of my thing. This is... I'm very proud of you for being so picky. This That's would only be $2. This would only be $2. I like that. I'm still being picky. I appreciate uh, it. It's very good. That means you can take more of my stuff home oh, with you. Oh, Keramik. Czech Republic. Yes. Yes, I will take that. This is recycled glass. Pretty but a little bit difficult to ship. So we're going to leave that. We'll leave some joy for some other people to find the 75% off booth. Is that one of those New Yorker plates? No, it's Adam's family. Oh, is it Adam's family? Yeah, but is it done by the New Yorker? Schmidt. Okay, it's a Schmidt. All right, all right. It looked like that cartoony thing that I've seen before. I love little stuff. Little, easy to ship stuff is kind of what I'm on the hunt for. This is old. Old, old, old little souvenir piece. A little ashtray. I'm trying to figure out. Oh, it's Texas. Oh, because that, that's like the Alamo, I think. Is that the Alamo? I don't know. I don't know. How do I feel about that? I don't know. I feel like it would need to go to somebody in Texas. So it's kind of a limited audience. But it's only like a dollar. I think I have to have it. That 
there's a little cast iron bank here. Bring you out of here so you're not going to break anything when I make you go. So you put the coin. Oh, maybe. Wait, is he not working correctly? So the coin goes in his mouth. There's the squirrel. And then it would be like flip, but it's, I see it's not, it's not functioning properly, which is a bummer. It's kind of cute. Right. I turned around over here and I spotted a piece of dragonware. I sell every piece of dragonware that I get. So I will definitely be taking this. Uh, so it'd be $2.50 for the little dragonware guy here. Let's see what this other little teacup and saucer is. This 15 would be... Yeah, that one, that one doesn't excite me. But these might. What are these? Oh, they're Nippon. NPMC Nippon. As is. Let's see. I think that just means the corks are missing. So those would be about four, four dollars for that little set. I'll take that too. I'm kind of in love with this little side-eye seagull. <laughs> He's ceramic. I was hoping he was wood. I like the wood ones better. Uh, but he's, he's tugging at me. This booth is 20% off, so he'd, be, he'd still be like 20 bucks. I'd be buying him for me, not for resale, because he does, he does kind of remind me of my visits to San Diego. Oh gosh, I think I have to have him. Oh, let's see what we got in here. We got little, little food dogs. So cute. Mounted on a thing of wood. Not sure I quite understand that. I didn't even know Anna Lee made clowns. But uh, I'm not, I'm not about them. Just not a clown person. Some nice cranberry glass pieces. 15, not a bad price. This has got um, pink crest. That's a, called a melon vase. It's a Fenton. This is the shape is melon. Is what they call it. Fenton was very well known for making that style. Hmm, let's see. Look at this purple cow family. Oh gosh. Uh, look at her poor udders. Oh my goodness. $50 for the family. That is hilarious. That is that is fun. Look at the color on this one. Oh, signed on the bottom. Who makes you? I cannot breathe. Breathe. This is not my piece. What? <laughs> I don't quite understand that etching on there. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Are you worn out already? I'm yeah? Tired. I'm tired. Poor baby. I'm getting old. All right, I think I've, I've probably spent enough here. Ooh, look at this seagull. That's a John Perry, pretty sure. Oops, oops, 
Oops, did I? I flopped the seagull. He's a flopping seagull now. Okay, you stay. You stay. <laughs> Don't touch the seagull. Ooh, pretty little enameled. Looks like Victorian glass. This is stippling. So that's 15. Is that a 15 each? Those are really pretty. It would be 30 for the pair. And I don't think there's much more I can do with, with that price, unfortunately. Let's see what other pretties we have in here. Oh, there's the killer whale one. How much is he? Oh, he's 45. He's 45. I kind of love him. No, walk away. Walk away, Danny. Walk away. Oh, I really love him, though. All right. Oh, look at that owl. He's kind of fun. See who makes you. Doesn't say who makes you. It'd be sixteen dollars. Mm. No, nope. he's kind of big. I'm gonna leave him for somebody else to love. What are these pretty blue candle holders? What is that? Does that say twelve dollars? Oh, I like $12. They have a very Art Deco kind of structure to them with the, the, the column look. Let me go get the other one and show them both at once. Look at that. I think I'm in love with those. I think I must have them. I don't know who makes them. I'm going to try to find out and put it in the recap when I edit this video, but nonetheless, they're going in my pile. Look at this little animatron bird. Oh, he's only $22. He's a newer one, though. If he was in a metal cage, he would be worth a lot more. Here is some gorgeous Victorian enameled glass. It's 325 on that one. Look at those pieces. Oh, I'm just in awe of how gorgeous this glass is and how it has lasted over a hundred years without getting broken. Absolutely fascinating. I am really glad we came in here. Uh, it's been it's been far too long since coming in a nice little easy to get through antique mall. The other one that we used to go to here is just a little overwhelming with really, really loud music. And um, so I don't tend to go there anymore, but I think uh, this one will be kind of on our path for the future. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Should I visit this one on my next, on my next San Diego trip or not? Look at these. They are Department 56, so it says these little uh, vegetable salt and pepper shakers. $14.50. Those are, those are fascinating, though. Fascinating, I must say. Oh, got some pretty crystals and stones. Jewelry mixed in. Oh, look at that amethyst. Oh, that's pretty. Very, very pretty. Um, Labradorite is one of my favorites. Just the way it kind of shimmers. Reminds me of butterfly wings. That's what it reminds me of. Look at these cuties. 14. Is that the one or both? There's only a tag on one. From 94. It's not the super duper old ones. But those are awfully, awfully cute. Oh no, this one says 1965, but 88, 88. 1965 must be when they first came around. 94 and 88. 
Still pretty cool and vintage. Hmm. Oh, and this one is from 89. Uh, I might see if, if I could get a deal if I buy all three of those. All right, I'm buying all three of those for $35. I am happy with that. Taking a little peek at the paperweights here, and then we are going to check out. So I, uh, I think we've done some damage here. <laughs> I'm already checked out. Yeah, well, this is <laughs> this is true. Ha ha ha. Oh, I do see a bluebird of happiness. I might have to see how much he is. Stand by. Oh my gosh, that was our life. <laughs> well, well, I mean, sometimes when they weren't cooperating, that's what you got to do. She is really cute. Henning carved by heart carved. In, yeah, she's she's milking a goat. Yeah, yeah. I, it's probably yeah. It's kind of from that same. Is well, Henri's are Italian, but yeah. The wood it's, kind of shrank and. Yeah. Oh my goodness. All right, we'll rescue them. We'll rescue them for 10. She's got our number now. <laughs>our regular list of places unfortunately i found out as we were checking out the one lady was like you know that booth with those big uh vases if you like glass you know the ones i showed you the victorian enameled glass she goes i'll give you 50 percent off on those so if anybody is interested in some really nice enamel glass victorian vases is, is in the san diego area if you come in and say the niche lady uh, i saw those vases on the niche ladies channel and you said you'd do them for 50 percent off there's your deal there's your deal i'm just gonna put it out there otherwise the next time i come out i'm gonna probably come back and scoop them up because those were fantastic pieces of glass all right we are off to the goodwill
We, it's in the same parking lot, but we weren't parked in the right spot. So now we have to go around the block to go back to the parking lot. Anyway, you're going to need to subscribe, hit the bell notification to come back and see that video, which will be the next one. All right, until then, and all the bumps, you go be profitable. And I'm thriving, mother. Apparently. How do you expect me to She can't it? make it fun while she's driving. <laughs> I'm it's, just, to... it's just not fun when she's driving.